Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Well, Sam Bankman fried is obviously trying to send secret notes or secret messages. Either that or he's just gone insane. People have been completely obsessed over his random tweets. One letter tweets. Well, I guess the first one's not one letter, but this is not the only one. And there was even a reduction of tweet count, but it wasn't SBF.FTX that was actually um, deleting the tweets. It was basically people deleting responses to his tweets. So SBF is continuously tweeting cryptic messages or insanity messages towards someone or something. He was asked about it and he said, I just make this stuff up as I go along. You see, like, each tweet has many, many responses to it. They're mostly just SBF. And then, like, you know, you can see here that H stands for Hillary. That must mean they're after him or worse. They've got him. A lot of people are making fun of this tweet, but have you ever tried to write a thread on mobile while running from a while running from 20 Bahamian police officers while 60 pounds overweight and high on meth? So there are people making all kinds of theories that he's tweeting to his secret political allies, that he's tweeting towards some uh, that he's tw tweeting towards some elites, or that he's just running from Bahamian police right now. So basically, like he he also is tweeting like all these other things doesn't really make much sense at all. Um, a lot of people think that Sam bankman fried is trying to send some secret message to like, you know, co-conspirators or co-founders. And he also has this not legal advice, not financial advice. This is all I remember it. So some people think that this thing's thwacked him so hard that he's forgotten his memory. He's also said that Almada had more assets than liabilities, but not liquid, which is Probably not true. I mean, I, I guess he can count candy as assets, but most people don't. Almada has margin position on FTX International. That I'm almost sure is true. And FTX US had enough money to pay all repay all customers. But remember, that is only FTX.us. I'm not sure if that's true anymore. And I'm not really sure what's going to happen to all those customers. He also says, my goal, my goal is to do right by my customers. I'm contributing what I can doing so. Well, if he was really serious about that, he would have not borrowed Al uh, Alameda Research all that money uh, just by using FTT as collateral. And some people with the some people are just tweeting, um, some people are just tweeting like random stuff to actually answer him. So essentially, this is uh, really, really, really strange what SBF is actually doing. Some people think that uh, from Coin Telegraph that he's preparing an insanity defense. So like you know the thing is like I think he does know he's gonna go on trial sooner or later either in the U.S. or in other countries and he's gonna plead that he's insane. I'm not really sure if that's actually going to work or not. Other pe uh, there's been like accounts that have archived all his tweets and then they're going to release them. And some people are saying from Twitter he's spelling what happened word by word, likely to send someone a message. And of course. Uh, that message, as some people speculate, would actually be Sam Trabuco, which is a co-founder of Alameda Research. So a lot of theories actually going around. He, like I said, I think the insanity defense is a very, very uh, plausible thing, but I don't think that's going to work because I don't think anyone's going to really buy it. He could be trying to send secret messages or he could just be going insane. But this tweet, uh, this whole tweet shitstorm is very, very entertaining. And some of the information that he's actually come out with this, like FTX US had enough re to pay out, repay all customers. I'm not really sure. And Alameda, Alameda had more re uh, assets than liabilities. Probably not true either. So SBF is continuing with his cryptic tweets. His lawyer might have actually tried to tackle him to stop these cryptic tweets. But he really, he is still blabbing on or at least he was blabbing on about his also about his charity work. So these tweets are pretty insane and he hasn't really stopped. You look at 2 hours to the best of my knowledge as of post 117 with the potential for errors and that's what he actually tweeted my goal my goal is to do right by my customers probably not that either. So there's a bunch of tweets in the last couple of minutes. A bunch of tweets in the last couple of minutes as well, a couple of hours. He's continuing to tweet. It looks like the insane ramblings of someone gone cuckoo, and that might be his insanity defense. So we will actually see what happened. So 
That's very interesting. We'll keep up on that story. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. And I will see you guys later.